the sub occipital muscles develops trigger point and tightness leading to the cervicogenic headache in case of upper cervical spine involvement especially the mechanical dysfunction in those cases are marked at C2 region the sub occipital muscles are attaching from the occiput till the axis even some muscle like the rectus capitis posterior minor muscle is having attachment to the posterior arch of the atlas there are primarily four muscles they are the rectus capitis posterior major the rectus capitis posterior minor superior oblique muscle and the obliquus capitis inferior muscle obliquus capitis superior obliquus capitis inferior rectus capitis posterior minor and rectus capitis posterior major these are the prime four muscles the attachments are from usually from the knuckle line inferior knuckle line till the tubercle of the posterior arch is the rectus capitis minor then rectus capitis major is attached to the c2 obliquus capitis superior from the occiput till the transverse process of atlas obliquus capitis inferior from the transverse process tubercle till the c2 spinous process out of these four muscles it is the rectus capitis posterior minor muscle which is muscle of our concern because this muscle is primarily attached to the dura and when this muscle becomes tight it pulls the dura even the recent findings have also found out that the major is also attached to the dura muscular complex and these muscles orientation suggest that they stabilize or they control to some extent the caudal movement of the dura and whenever these muscles become tight as they pull the dura and the dura gives encapsulment to the various sinuses or the various veins of the brain in the veins when they comp gets compressed the drainage of through the vein of the brain is impaired and that leads to exertional headaches so we have to identify the tightness of the sub occipital muscles and we can apply the muscle energy techniques to restore the original length of these muscles which not only give rise to the upper cervical pain but also is one of the major cause of the cervicogenic headache whenever the sub occipital muscles contract they help the person to poke the chin out this moment do it poke, poke it out this is the moment happens when the sub occipital muscles contract and the sub occipital muscles means the rectus capitis posterior minor rectus capitis posterior major obliquus capitis superior and obliquus capitis inferior these are the prime four sub occipital muscles 
which are connecting from the occiput till the C2 spinous process. So, in order to apply the muscle energy technique, the occiput is supported by the therapist one hand, other hand of the therapist is kept straight and then the lateral aspect of the index is kept superior to the C2 spinous process, stabilizing the C2 spinous process and then the therapist is, is putting the anterior aspect of the shoulder at the forehead of the subject. Relax and therapist is, is applying the force to the occiput in posterior superior direction, just pulling the occiput. I am reaching for the barrier, we are stretching the muscle, reaching for the barrier and then I am instructing the subject, slightly you try to poke the chin out, very mild force, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, relax. Then I am coming to the new position, slightly poke it out, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, relax, come to the new position, come on, do it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, relax, come to the new position, okay. And this technique is applied for 6 to 10 times and the moment which is applied is that we are supporting the occiput and then we are, we are pulling, we are taking the occiput posterior superiorly so that the muscle is getting slightly lengthened and then with the application of MET we can restore the length of this sub occipital muscle. And the prime muscle of our concern is the rectus capitis posterior minor muscle as it is attached to the dura.